working with Lucy for, well, for over 20 years. I knew her best in the years after I loved Lucy. 1960 was the last season for Lucy and Ricky Ricardo and for Lucy and Desi Arnaz. She went right into a Broadway play, Wildcat. Lucy had started out at age 15 to be a star on Broadway. And now it was standing room only. The audience just went wild for her. And so did a New York comedian named Gary Morton. She returned to Hollywood to star in The Lucy Show with her old friend Vivian Vance as two divorcees. But when Vivian wanted to retire after the first season, she brought in the man she originally wanted to play Fred Mertz on the I Love Lucy show. This fella. Now, Lucy, we've got to get out of here. Come on. It's a chance to be on coast to coast television. <laughs> show won Lucy her third Emmy. I love my work. Thank you for giving me this for us. Desi sold her his half of Desilu, including what had been the RKO studio. Now, Lucy became the first woman to ever head a film studio. She shot yours, mine, and ours there with the co-star, Henry Fonda. The movie was a big hit, but shortly after its release, she sold Desilu in order to form a new production company and to create a new show. Here's Lucy. Lucy was incredibly loyal. She treated the people she worked with like a second family. When she knew you, she always wanted to work with you. Are you all right? She also wanted her children, Desi Jr. and Lucy, in the new series. When you look at footage shot during the making of Here's Lucy, you can see some of the stunt work. Lucy would do anything to get a laugh. People don't realize how hard Lucy worked. They think she was a comedian. But she was also a great actress and a great lady. Yes, she would do a musical comedy like Maine, and then she could turn around and do The Stone Pillow, a tough, dramatic role where she played a homeless woman. I like to think of Lucille Ball as a glorious physician because she dispensed the most important medicine in the world, laughter. And she did it by making house calls. She came into our homes and into our hearts. <laughs> Bless her.